with Kendall Marshall, newest member of the Phoenix Suns here with uh, NBA Draft Insider. How does it feel to be a member of the Phoenix Suns? Well, it feels great. You know, I'm excited about the opportunity to come out here, learn and get better and play at the highest level. You were you mentioned before that you were surrounded with the utmost talent at UNC and it, you know with the Suns obviously they're in a, a rebuilding phase. How do you see yourself fitting into this team going forward? I'm excited about it. You know, I feel like it has a, a great coach that I can learn a lot from as well as the system. You know, getting up and down the court, I feel like that's where I start. How has your conversations been with Coach Gentry? I mean, have you guys been clicking? You've been talking a lot leading up to uh, well, obviously been a member of the Suns for less than 24 hours, but have you had a chance to speak to him? Uh, I have. You know, we're, we're both excited. Uh, we feel like it's a great fit both ways. And we're going to make the most of it. On draft night, were you hearing that you were potentially uh, the, the rumors all fly out on the last minute? You were going high, and then people were really high on you. Did you think that there was a chance of going before Phoenix, or do you think that this was where you were going? Honestly, I put my phones away. I got off the computer. I said I just wanted to enjoy the night and watch the draft, so I found out when the rest of them were here. And you mentioned that you heard Ken, and then your family went nuts. I mean, yeah, obviously you haven't had much time to process it, but what was that moment like for you? Uh, it was stunning. You know, it, it was surreal just to be in that situation, something that you've worked so hard for. To see it become reality, it was a great thing. Being a cerebral player, not an athletic player, do you, do you take that as kind of an insult? Do you take it as a compliment? I mean, how do you feel about those kind of words about you? I take pride in it. You know, it is who I am. I'm not gonna guy that's gonna go out there and try to dunk on somebody, but I do try to beat you with what I can do between my arms. So I have no problem with that. We see you run off on a fast break. Are you, are you gonna break off a dunk or are you gonna? Highly doubt it. You know, <laughs> I, I want to get the shirt two points. As far as uh, the, the Steve Nash stuff, it's going to be asked of you a lot with coming on to the Suns, and, and obviously be a great mentor to learn from. If he does happen to come back to the Suns, what are a few things that you hope to bend his ear on and get better at? Uh, really just watching him, you know, being a professional. You know, for him to still be playing the, the game at this age, uh, he must be doing something right. So I'm sure I can learn a lot from him on and off the court. For the Suns fans that obviously have seen your game, because you played at UNC and, and you guys were on TV a lot, talk to them about your game a little bit and, and why they should be coming out to the games this year. Uh, one thing I want to bring is a winning mentality. Uh, I feel like I take a lot of pride in getting my teammates involved and you know, making the game fun. And I think when guys are getting up and down the court scoring, that people are going to enjoy it. And that's what Coach said about you and what he liked about you the most is that you were a winner. Thanks for the time, Kendall. Thank you.